Hey, welcome back to Window Cleaning Resource and the Window Cleanse. And in this video, we're gonna to talk to you about three time-saving tips that you can use when you're doing your storefronts. So let's go. Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com. So tip number one is to reduce or eliminate transitions. So what is a transition? Well, a transition is when you're going from one thing to another, changing from one thing to another. Here's an example of a, of a transition. Scrub, squeegee, that's a transition. Squeegee to pole. Here's another transition. Pole work to hand work. That's another transition. If you can eliminate or at least reduce how many times you do that, that will actually really speed you up on a storefront, especially a large one. It really, because you're multiplying, even if you're saving a couple seconds per window, you're multiplying that over maybe a hundred panes of glass. So a great opportunity to eliminate handwork is when you have sills that are about waist high. You can just straight pull all the way down. There's no shame in that whatsoever. And that waist high is perfect. It's just perfect. Uh, and that is gonna save you a lot more time than doing it this way. And I'm not pulling all the way down, okay? And then, so here's a transition, right? So here's a transition. And then, and then you finish with your hand. If you can eliminate hand work or pull work, it's really going to save you a lot of time. Another way to eliminate transitions is that to actually not put the stuff back in your belt. So as you're working, okay, you're working on this window, work your way down, da da da. Instead of putting it back on your belt, just put them like this. And on the inside, you don't have to worry about the brick uh, so much. So let's let's demonstrate that on the inside. Yeah. see nothing goes back on the belt until the very end of the line. Let's kick it outside and uh, talk about tips number two and three. So we could probably discuss about 30 tips that would save you time when you're on your route but uh, what's special about these three and I've thought really hard about this is that these three tips you can apply no matter what your tools are, no matter what your technique is. You don't have to buy any specialized tools. Okay, so this is an interesting one because as I'm working, I want you to actually look at me and in particular my head and my eyes. Now I'm not saying that I never look down, but I try to minimize it as much as possible. As soon as I'm putting one thing away, my squirt bottle, I'm reaching for my pole. I'm putting the pole down, I'm reaching for a rag. Uh, I'm putting the, sque the squirt bottle in, I'm reaching for a squeegee. I put the squeegee in, I'm reaching for my rags. Just take notice of that. I want your eyes not so much on the window, in this case, but on me. The actual window technique is. And that goes back like that. These go like that, hands free. That's what you want to try to do. You want to try to just get into a system where you're almost robotic. How often do you have to look down? you know where everything is on your tool belt. All right, let's go on to number three. Number three is when you're detailing, using a two rag system to detail. 
So the rag that leads is going to be your slop rag, and the, the rag that trails is going to be your finished rag. So you want your trailing rag to be dry. So those are a few tips. Hope you save a little bit of time when you are doing your storefront route. So on behalf of Window Cleaning Resource and the Window Cleanse, I'm Jordy. And it's been a pleasure to have you with me for these few minutes. I hope it's been helpful. Stay tuned every Monday, Wednesday, Friday for new content from Window Cleaning Resource on YouTube. And if you're interested in any of the tools that were used in this video, check the links below in the description. Until next time, I wish you a good day in your business.